Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. Am I in danger here? My father honors guest right, just as you do. And I'm supposed to trust my life to that? I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes, I suppose you are. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me, yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Are these your brothers? The eldest three. Yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. We'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. Barred from the other side. Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. He's just testing us. I'm sure of it. What's Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce. And I believed it. I hope I wasn't a fool. Remember what I said. No fear. Right. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. Rod 
Patrick! Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey, and unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Well? You know, your father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. Need I remind you, you kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me get slaughtering your small folk. Griff won't be doing a damn thing. What do you mean? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff, for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! No! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I do this! I swear by the gods, if you were... He's a child! Uh, a son for a son! This is not what we're... Blame doing. him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? <laughs> About my fucking fourthborn! I want! I want to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn! I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. 
kill me, Wait, and we all die. Roger, do something. Let me go, please. I'll kill you myself. Roger, help him. Please, look. Don't do this. Oh. So now you beg. Yes. I'm begging you. Things don't have to end this way. You're lucky I'm no mercy. <clears throat> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. It's been a pleasure, Lud. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. 